a long time ago, um, there was this little, there was this little boy. He was a, he was a little boy. Um, he was a, he was a dove. His mom and dad were doves. That's when the creatures could talk many years ago. You know, they could, you know, communicate with one another through their languages and stuff like that. And, you know, every morning the the doves would let their kids out to play in a forest somewhere like this, in, in the area like this, to be kids playing around. You know, all these creatures that be, their, their kids would be playing around like the raccoon or the doves, you know, the horny toads or whatever, whatever was living out in the uh, mountains that had kids that would be playing around. Even the deer and elk had kids too. So they'd be playing around, you know, and toward the evening time, they would tell their kids, let's go in, let's go in now, it's time to get in. Um, that's when they used to say the the ghost or the Nusakats would, would come and look around for stragglers that are straggling behind or where they're not really listening or something, uh, you know, when they're playing too much, they don't listen, they don't l hear their mom and dad telling them, come on back to the house, time to get in the house before the sun goes down, they say. In the morning, they would let them out and let them play around. And um, there was this one group of family of doves that they, uh, that used to have a lot of kids. The mother would tell them, come on, let's go inside. Let's go, time to get inside. Time to pee, time to go to sleep, they said. So everybody would get inside, go on back to where, to their own homes and stuff like that. And then they'd, she'd take a count of her kids, just one, two, three, and mention their name. They'd raise their little hands up like this. I'm here, mom. Dad would be sitting over there listening to them. And one little dove always in that family wouldn't listen. And his dad, then his dad said, he's not here, kacha yanuwa. He say, kacha yanuwa, that means he's gone, he's not in the house. So his mom and dad started looking in the house before they went outside because it was getting dark. And the Nisakats, he would be walking around out there, the ghost would be walking around out there looking for this, looking for stragglers that didn't make it to their house because he was hungry. He was hungry and that's the way he, he got his food, by getting the stragglers to come to his house. The ghost be running around out there looking for the stragglers in there. Finally he came upon that little dove. There was a, there was, there was a stream not too far away from where they lived, out in the mountains. And he'd be out there splashing around, not listening to his mom and dad. And, He'd say, uh, getting dark. So he looked like this, and it was getting kind of late. And finally, this uh, the ghost, the Nusakots, they call him, in Ute. Oh, by the way, yeah, no, that's what they would talk was Ute too and other languages, but they all got, got, got you know, they would all uh, communicate with one another. And um, the, the Ute, the little, the little bird was a Ute. You kid, his mom and dad uh, try to ask one another, Uusa, meaning, where's he at? Hopzo, they say, where'd he go? They would talk like that. So they, so the dad said, Nuga, he said, Nuga, that means me. I'm going to go outside and look for that, my son. He's not here. All the rest are here. I know that, I know that little boy, he don't listen, he said. Kanakawa, Kanakawa, he said. He don't listen. That guy don't listen. So he went outside looking for him. He'd be calling his name. Hey, Beke. I mean, come here. Come home. Beke, come home. He'd say that. And he kept looking around out in the forest. And all this time, the ghost was over there talking to that little boy. He had a he, he kind of dressed up like a, a like a dove too. He was talking to that guy, that little boy. He said, "Hey, come on, let's go." 
It's getting dark. We go to my house. We can go. We, I'll take you back to your house tomorrow. That's what he was telling that little boy. He, he told him, we got new one. He said, you go with me to my house. He said, we're going to go over there. We'll eat supper. We'll eat. And then finally, the little boy, he asked him, who are you? Are um. He said, are um. He said, I am your cousin of the Dove family. Nugani Nuts, he said. Nugani Nuts. He said, okay. So that little boy listened to him. And off they went. And here his dad just missed him by a hair. Right there where they were playing around by that little stream. His dad came over the hill calling his name. No answer. Finally, that guy was going way over, over the hill. Him and that little boy went over. So he stood there and said, where's it at? He said, oh, it's just right over the hill. Where's your house at? He told that guy, where? Just right over the hill. Okay. So they just went right over the hill. And there he, his house was just big old pile of brush and fire was already going. That guy kept saying, where? His dad kept saying, where are you? How about Nene? Where are you? Bake it. Come home, he say. Bake about him. Let's go home, he say. Bake about him. That means let's go home. Again. And he just telling him that. No, nobody listened. Finally, it got dark. So he went back to his house. Sat there for a little while and he said, Cha Yanwa. He said, can't find him. He's gone, he said. I don't know where he's at. John Yenwa says, he's gone. So they sat there at the table. They said, maybe we go look for him tomorrow. How about something? He'll be around maybe somewhere, he said. He said, what's up? He said, okay. We go out and move to what he talked He said, now it's time to go to sleep. It's got dark. Can't, can't do anything. Can't go out looking for him tonight. There's ghosts out there, he said. Nisak tu, mama tuduwa, tuduwa nikane. He said, outside there's ghosts outside, roaming around, getting ready to maybe get some other kids that didn't listen, that didn't go back home when their mom and dads told them to. And pretty soon that morning, that ghost was building a big old fire. The little boy said, I'm hungry. Uh, hey, we're going to eat. We're going to eat. He's just cutting that carrots and onions in that pot. The little boy kept asking, when are we going to eat? Excuse me. <clears throat> when are we going to eat? He said. I said, soon. Soon we're going to eat. So he grabbed all that stuff, put it in a pot, and was cooking over there. The little boy said, do you he said, it smells real good what are you cooking. He said, Tikwane, uh, the cup, he goes, food smells good, he said. Well, pretty soon he said, yep, it's going to be, it's going to be Tikwane pretty soon. He says, going to taste real good pretty soon, he said. Oh, well, he took that little boy out to that other room. He said, what's over here? He said, toys, play in there just for a little bit. He said, there's toys in there. Again, yeah, in there, he said. It's okay. So he was playing in the other room. Finally, the guy went back, the ghost went back and got all these things, put it back in there. Put it back in all that pot was boiling. Pretty soon he went in there. Got that little boy. Knocked him on his head. Put him in there in the stew. He said, We got him. He told him, You taste good. Yep, there it does. He said, Sitting there eating. 
And pretty soon the mom and dad kept in the morning they came came out crying. Crying the morning dove was crying that morning. And he goes, Ooh, 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 ooh. He said, Kawa nini tuopchen. Kawa nini tuopchen. He says, Where is my child? Where is my child? And the father would fly out to him, looking for his son. He said, Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Where are you? Where are you? He said, ooh, 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 ooh. So the moral of the story is that you don't listen. Bad things are going to happen to you. You get up in the morning, do the things you need to do in the daytime. And by that time, the sun sets, you're supposed to be in the house. And that's the way it is with, with our tradition sometimes. You tell these stories to your kids. You tell them to those ones that are growing up, young age. Nowadays, kids don't listen. They got all these things. They stay way late at night. Their mom and dad sits and worry, where are they at? How about Nittany? Where is he at? Where is he walking around at? They sit and wait, listen. It's just like the story of the dove when they lost their kid. That's the way we are humanly. A lot of things that these things are happening. Our kids wander off. And that's where some of these stories, they derive from, from the creatures out there. What happened to them is passed down through oral history because the elders, they tell it to the kids nowadays. And like I said, the moral of the story is that they, they don't listen. What happens to them out there? The kids don't listen nowadays. That's why these things happen to them. And... Those are the things that the, the, the animals have taught us, passed down. We listen to the elders that have heard these stories before. And that's some of the stories that I, I have inside of me to tell in this way where it can be recorded. And I can't tell it to anybody else. So I sit here today telling it so I can have I can at least maybe give it to somebody that'll listen to it and maybe tell it to their kids one day and say hey Ari, just listen to this this is how the story goes and how it ended because the kids they didn't listen one kid didn't listen didn't make it home and where he ended up and the ghost is stew pot because he didn't listen to his mom and dad. That's where he ended up.